Hey everyone, Happy New Year from Nifty Thrifty Girl. Here it is, uh, what is today? January 6th, I believe. Um, maybe the 7th. What is today? I don't even know. What are you asking me for? <laughs> I don't have a time clock anymore. Um, this is a... Six. Today's the 6th. Well, there you go. This is a vintage Kenmore convertible. It is a model 1947. One amp. All metal. Um, pretty clean um, cosmetically. It has a little bit of um, a couple minor paint dings. There's one there, there's one there, there's a little one here. Um, you know, it's 35 plus years old. Not perfect, but the mechanical function of it works like a charm. It is, uh, it has 12, put it up here. 12 built-in stitches accessed with the top dial. It also has the built-in buttonholer. Bobbin winders here. It is double needle capable. And this is your stitch width. This is your stitch length. Your reverse is here. And the center dial, orange dot, white dot, lets you select whether you're going to um, sew regular or straight, or I'm sorry, regular or stretch stitch. So white is stretch, orange is regular. As you can see, the oranges are all regular. Um, convertible, of course, means that you can sew with this machine as either a flatbed or a free arm. And if you sew, you know that there are occasions that you need a free arm. Um, so this serves as both types of machines. Um, as it sits this way, it's a flatbed. Um, you can access the bobbin area very easily. There's a button right here. You push that and this little flap comes off, or panel. There's your bobbin area. Pretty easy, so you don't have to slide off the whole deck to access your bobbin. And it is a class 15 bobbin, 15 by 1 needles, and it is a regular low shank machine. So all standard low shank accessories and attachments will fit class 15 bobbins and 15 by 1 needles. Feed dog drop. Um, little lever is right here underneath the panel as well so the feed dogs drop down so you can do free motion work. And that snaps back on super easy to go back to using as the flat deck or if you want to access the free arm there's a button right here on the front you push it. I think there's one. No, it's not on the back. Push it. and it comes off. Well, it helps if you close the bobbin door. <laughs> you have to have the bobbin door closed to slip the deck off. Come on, why are you arguing with me? There it goes. It, norm it, it, it is really easy, I promise. So anyway, the whole deck slips off and there is your access to your free arm and that's for pants legs and shirt sleeves and small stuff that you might have to sew and of course there's your bobbin in the arm and all that kind of stuff and I drop it so then it snaps back on it slides back on and snaps in place and there it goes it's back on and you're back to a flatbed. This is serviced and ready to go. It's oiled, timing's checked, it's in perfect working order as of now and I'm going to show you that here in just a second. We're going to go with, this is just a piece of cotton fabric, we're going to start with um, some zigzag and straight. And you are going to get this sample with it. I'm going to turn it over to zigzag. Ken Morris, do you have a nice white zigzag? And 
and then I'm going to flip it over to a stretch stitch, which we're going to go from the orange dot to the white dot on this dial. That's as easy as that. And when you are in stretch, you need to have it on um, four, which is the widest, and you need to have it on six, which is the longest, to do your stretch stitches. Unless, of course, you're in straight stitch, and then you are committed on the floor. There's your stretch. You can see it moving up and back. You will get a PDF copy of the manual that goes with this machine. Um, I will need you to email me after the listing is over. Um, They won't let you send email addresses, which sucks. But if you respond to my after auction email, I can attach the PDF copy of the manual to you and get it sent over. As you can see, she's cranking along. I'm going to, with this actual machine, you get a box of attachments, um, bobbins, some needles. I don't know anything about these needles, but I'm going to leave them in there. These are stretch needles. They're ball points. The Q needles are stretch. There's all kinds of attachments in here. There's hemmers. There's an edge, um, edge stitcher. And here's a binder, multi-slotted binder. And these are all little attachments that go on this one foot. You unscrew this, this comes off, and you change the attachment on that. So that comes with it. This is six layers of cotton. Still want to go through it like butter. Go back over here to straight. Oh, we're still on stretch. Well, there you go. It's stretching through it the same way. it off a stretch, put it back on the orange dot. This is size 16 needle that I'm using. Of course you always want to use the smallest needle that you can for your project because you don't want to punch a bigger hole than you need to. Nice stitches on that. That, once again, is the vintage Kenmore Model 1947 all-metal convertible free arm sewing machine with 12 built-in stitches and the button holder. My email is down under the video. Uh, you can click on the blue NTG and subscribe to my channel and you'll get notifications whenever I upload a new video. And you can find this machine over on eBay for sale, grab it while you can if it's still there because these convertibles don't last very long. Thank you.